Hello everyone, and welcome back. Alright, tonight I reached into the locks that Pikmin 1977 sent me. Um, I pulled out this Slade kick here. Um, he calls it Chuck Norris. Um, and on the back here it says, Pikmin 1977, do not turn 180. So, we won't be turning it 180, but um, we're going to try to get in it. And, uh, well, we'll take a look and see what he put inside of this lock. Alright, Slag, I'm going to go to the top of the keyway, and I'm going to grab my Tron, I believe this is my Tron, from Sparrows. Well, let's see if we get in it. And I always try to pick my Slags in reverse. I tend to stay on the ledge a little easier. Let's see what we have here. It's pin one. Alright. Not sure if I'm getting anything out of it. Alright, maybe not. Pin three. A little click. Four. Got a little counter off it. Oh, five. And six. And I actually got a little turn on the core. A couple little clicks from each one of those counter here I think that was three yeah I think there's six pins in there Okay, that was five. I got a little more turn on that core. I think I got a little click out of six. Counter on one. I got a click. Trying to find some more feedback. Alright, we got a deep fall set. I think that was off of either three or four. So we got a really deep fall set now. Uh, let's see what else we could find. Might have got a little click off of one and a little more turn on that core. Right, let's see what else we could find. Okay, that was a little click from one. Just me coming off of a pin. And I'm not feeling any more feedback. Just got to click off a of three. Pop 
possibly another click from one. Everything seems locked up. I've got this a little more from one. Something's got to give. Just pinched my finger right there in that core. All right, I'm not feeling anything. But I do have a deep false set. again off of four. Okay, I might have got a little bit off of two just now. And there we are, open on six. Whew, okay, Chuck Norris. That was definitely a tough lock. That was a great lock, pick me. All right, well, now let's see what we have inside of it. It got me, too. Gave me a good little pinch. All right, we'll try not to lock it up, although I do want to unmummy these keys for now on. So, let's do that. Let me grab my pinning tray. Oh, that's the bidding on the key. It's not too bad, but he's got some goodies in there. I know that. All right, well, let's see how the key works. Oops, we almost turned it 182. And it works very smooth. All right. Let's get this clip off of here. Okay. Jim doesn't want to go in past his first pin. There it goes. 
All right, let's see what we have here. Yep, six pins in there. And they're all working. And they all needed to be picked. They are all pretty well below the shear line. All right, well, let's see what we have. Pin one is a serrated. Pin two is a double spool. Three is a serrated. Some wide serrations. Four is a spool. What I think the serration on the top. A little hard to see. Oh, we have a serrated pin in five. And a tapered pin in six. Then up here we have some threading in one, undercutting and threading, I believe, in um, two. Yep, we got some threaded and some undercutting. Then we got threading in three, threading in four. Um, more counter milling in there and threading or possibly threading and counter milling in six so definitely some work done to that core all right let's see what we have up here Ooh, very strong spring and that is a double spool kind of like a barrel spool a very cool looking pin And brass spring. We have another spool, I believe, with a very sharp edge on the top. And a steel spring. Serrated spool, very sharp serrations. Or possibly just all serrated. It's hard to tell sometimes if they're actually spools or serrations. And a little steel spring, loosely wound. All right. Pin four is a pin and pin. There's the outer collar, and that is serrated. And that pin went in there. Okay, there it is. It is in the spring. Very cool. There is no wafer though. Huh. I don't believe there's a wafer in there. Nope, just a pin. Alright. Let's go this way. Six is a serrated spool. Excuse me. At six, put it in five. And a steel spring, and five is a spool. With possible serrations in the middle of it. And there's, no, nope, that is a pin and pin spool. Because <laughs> there is another pin inside a spring. It's in that spring again. With no wafer. Huh. Okay. A little different. And then we have some fine threading in one. I don't know if you can see that. Nothing in two. We got um, some more threading in three. And five is threaded. So five is threaded. One is very light threading down there. Three is threaded. Cool. All right, well, let's have a look at these pins because these are some pretty badass pins. All right. Definitely want to show these. 
Okay, one is a serrated key pin. Two is a double spool. Three is, I guess I could call that wide serrations. Four is a spool with some serrations in the middle of it. Five is a serrated. And six is tapered on the top. And then up here we have a double spool. Kind of like a barrel spool, but it's kind of like... Got a little ledge here in the middle, kind of like a bubble. And then we have a spool here um, with a very sharp edge. A one, two, possible triple spool, very sharp, sharp edges. And then here we have a pin and pin. Um, serrated collar here and a pin with no wafer. And then same here, we have a spool, pin and pin. That is a pin and pin. Um, again, with no wafer. Then we have a, another spool serrated on the top here. And then up here we have a... That could possibly be a steel spring. Um, another silver steel spring. Another steel spring here, loosely wound. And then we have a copper spring. Possibly one's copper, one could be brass, a little bit different color. And then we have a long steel spring in six. But a fun lock to pick and a pretty tough lock to pick too. So awesome lock pick me. Um, thank you for pinning it and thank you for sending it to me. And uh, yeah guys, well, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, comment below. Um, and you guys have probably noticed that I don't have my uh, my intro right now. I probably won't have it again until the weekend. I was messing around with my laptop last night. Um, erasing a lot of videos and different pictures. Trying to make it a little quicker. And I uh, somehow I erased my um, intro. I think it was attached to one of the videos. But um, yeah. Well, if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And yeah, everybody, please stay safe and... Stay legal. Thanks, guys. Bye.